Hi guys, Wendy here. In this video, we're going to draw my draw so cute pot of gold. So let's get started. To draw this pot of gold, we're going to start by drawing the top of the pot. So right here, I'm going to draw a slight curve, a very soft curve for the top of the pot. About that much. And then I'm going to start to round it off for the side. And same thing on the other side. It's a very, very simple little pot. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect it once again, just like the top. And from there, we're just going to bring a big curve all the way down. So come here and draw our pot. Come down. On both sides. And I'm just going to curve it out and connect it. There, nice and simple, right? <laughs> I hope. Okay, so we have our basic pot in. Let's come up here and we're going to start to draw the gold pieces. So I'm going to start in the center and I'm just going to draw a curve for half of a coin. And I'm going to stagger them. So I'm just going to draw another one here and another one here. And then from there, I'm going to draw another one right in the center of both of them. And the same thing on this side. And one last one at the top. Nice big pieces of gold coins, and so then from there, let's um, let's add some sparkle to these coins. So I'm going to come into this area, and I'm just going to draw some sparkles. So it's just a curve, like a little curve, a star almost. And I'm going there, and I'm going to erase that, and then maybe one over here, just to add some bling to our coins. And let's see, maybe one up here. So it's just two curves at the top that connect at the bottom. So once again, I'll go in there and erase whatever needs to be erased in this inside the sparkle. Okay, so then from there, let's um, bring this little pot of gold to life. So I'm going to come in this area and draw a huge circle for the eyes right onto the sides. And same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to come right across towards the edge once again and draw another big circle. Okay, so then I'm just going to make them draw the cute eyes. I'm going to put two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. and the lines at the bottom. So same thing on this side, two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. So if you love uh, St. Patrick's Day and you love gold and you love rainbows <laughs> and unicorns, please make sure to check out my uh, rainbow playlist. Okay, and the lines at the bottom. And so then from there, let's come up here and you're just going to draw a small curve on both sides to anchor the eyes. And of course, right in the center, let's give it a cute and sweet little smile. Just like that. And you can add cheeks in here if you want when you're coloring it. I'm just going to add a little curve to give it some dimension right there. And so then from there, um, we're going to come out here and we're just going to surround this pot of gold with some um, clovers and a rainbow. So I'm going to come into this area right here and draw some grass. So it's just a bunch of zigzags to come out. And so same thing on this side. Go all the way out. And so from there, let's draw some gold coins that have fallen down. So I'm just going to come in this area and just draw a big oval. Maybe, let's see, three of them. 
So we give ourselves a nice little St. Patrick's Day scene like that. And so then from there, let's draw our four leaf clover. So I'm going to come in this area and draw one that kind of bends this way. So the easiest way I found to draw four leaf clover is to basically draw four hearts. They're connected. So I'm going to come in the center right here and just draw four hearts. So that's one. Just connect them to three and four. <laughs> okay, and so on this side, I'm going to draw two of them just to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's see here. I'm going to bring one that comes this way. So let's start here at the bottom. So this one, I'm just going to go this way. So one, I'll go there and erase that. Two. Three and four. And one more that goes a little bit higher. So let's see. Up here. And we're going to come up here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so now to draw our rainbow. So the easiest way to draw this rainbow correctly in um, perspective is to, we're going to start with one big arch first. So we're going to come on this side right here. So the rainbow is coming out of the pot. So I'm going to come about in this area and just draw one arch. So I'm going to come in here and just draw a nice little arch and then come back all the way down. But like that. So however you draw this arch, either fat or thin, you want to um, you want to copy this curve right here on the other side. So it's as if you're drawing a ribbon. So it's as if you're drawing two of these curves right here and connecting it with a line at the top. So I'm going to come about right here and make sure about right there I'll stop. So I'm going to follow this curve out. So. Going. And about right there is where I'll stop. So I'm notice I'm just kind of following this curve I made right here. And at the same height right here, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. All the way there. Okay, so now to draw the stripes that come into the rainbow. So I'm going to come in the center. I'm just going to give myself six colors on this rainbow. I'm going to come in the center. So about right here, give myself a point and the center of this would be about right here. And I'm just going to basically follow this arch. So I'm just going to come in here. Follow that. And so I'm going to draw three of them here. So this way it just makes it a little bit easier to make it a little bit more even. So same thing over here. So we're going to just taper a little bit as we get up higher. So something like that. Okay, so we have our six stripes and now to draw this one. So we're going to just try to make them the same um, with us this. So I'm going to come about right here and we're going to arch it a little bit as we come up here. So we're going to come down here, going to arch all the way down. So I hope I don't make too much of a mess. We're basically going to try to draw six of these. I'm trying to make them the same width, all of them. One, two, three, four. Five and six. So let's just tuck this one back here so that we don't have to make too much of a mess. 
Okay, so there we got our little rainbow in and um, that is pretty much it for this Draw so cute pot of gold. I hope I made it easy for you guys to follow and you'll love to draw this for St. Patrick's Day. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw so cute videos. See you later.